Publication is an important process in research. We have seen that peer reviewing ensures that papers submitted for publication reach certain scientific standards. Peer reviewing is an essential aspect of the process, but there are other aspects that need to be understood by researchers. Who are the other actors involved in the publication process? And since publications are made available worldwide, how is the process regulated on a global scale? These are the questions I try to answer in this lecture. According to international standards, all publications can be uniquely referenced. Books are uniquely identified by their International Standard Book Number, ISBN. The ISBN is a 13 digits long and is assigned to each edition of a book. A digital object identifier, DOI, is mainly used for research outputs such as journal articles, research reports and datasets, and even other type of information such as videos. A DOI may be resolved to access the object to which it refers. The Open Researcher and Contributor ID, ORCID, is a persistent digital identifier that uniquely identifies a researcher. It has been introduced to support integration in key research workflows, such as manuscript and grant submission, and supports automated linkages between a researcher and his or her professional activities. A special role in promoting research in society and publication of research products is played by professional societies. Professional societies exist at an international and national level. In our context, they group and represent researchers working in specific scientific areas. For example, the American Physical Society, APS, and the European Physical Society, EPS, are non-profit organizations representing researchers in physics. The IEEE, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, is the world's largest technical professional organization for the advancement of technology. It includes societies for professionals and researchers in technological fields from aerospace and electronic to systems to circuits and systems, from communications to control systems and many others. The Association for Computing Machinery, ACM, is the main professional and academic organization for informatics. Societies run both scientific journals and conferences. For example, among others, the APS publishes physical review letters. The IEEE publishes the IEEE transactions on computers and the IEEE transactions on software engineering. The ACM publishes Journal of the ACM and Communications of the ACM. Societies also support the diffusion of research through conferences. Societies also help make the professions visible to society, for example, through their prestigious awards. For example, the ACM Turing Award is an annual prize given to an individual selected for contributions of lasting and major technical importance to the computer field. This award is generally recognized as the highest distinction in computing, the Nobel Prize of Computing. Societies are largely self-managed by professionals and researchers who run their scientific activities as a service to the community. Commercial publishers like Springer, Wiley, Elsevier, Pearson and so on also play an important role in scientific publications. Besides educational books, they publish research monographs, conference proceedings and also scientific journals. Even in these cases, however, researchers have editorial responsibility in the reviewing and selection of the published material. Finally, some academic institutions also have their own publishing organization. 
For example, the MIT Press is a university press affiliated with Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It is a publisher of books and journals whose editorial board consists of MIT faculty members. The picture I gave of the publication word shows that researchers have plenty of choices for the venues where their research results may be published. A beginning researcher may even be disoriented when they have to choose among the many opportunities that are offered to them. Earlier in this lecture, I mentioned publishers which offer a variety of choices, some of which are highly valued by the respective research communities. There are many others I did not mention in other fields of research. However, there are also many others that do not offer the necessary guarantees in terms of professionalism and credibility. In another lecture, I mentioned the recent indiscriminate proliferation of journals and conferences, and I even used the derogatory term predatory publishers to name publishers who offer easy and fast publication to inexperienced researchers with the objective to attract submissions. I strongly recommend resisting the temptation to shortcut the difficulties that may be involved in publishing in serious journals and conferences, trying to find easy and fast publication opportunities. Publication in low-quality venues damages the reputation instead of being a sign of distinction. Inexperienced researchers should consult with their advisors and other senior researchers to identify good publication targets with the goal of building knowledge that enables them to navigate the publication jungle.